Hello everyone, Nintendo announced and released a new trailer for the upcoming Drizzle season which showcases a dozen new weapons, new stages, modes and more. And I decided to go through and pick out some details that you all may have missed while watching the trailer. I hope you liked today's video, and let's get into the analysis. There are many things to point out with the two new multiplayer stages we got, those being Crab Leg Capital and Ship Shape Cargo Co. Just from judging the footage alone, Crab Leg's side posts and cranes look to be spots that zip casters can grab and move on to. There's also this ink rail to the left side of Cargo Spawn, which is nice, but it looks as if we're not going to be doing too much with this, so that means we now have two ship stages with an ink rail that kind of does little to help. Another cool thing is that Crab Leg Capital is located right next to Hagglefish Market, a very nice and awesome detail that Nintendo put into the stage which I really applaud. We also have information on the new weapons with the tabletop cards, which also include both King Salmonids as rare cards you can collect. As for the weapons, we have the obvious Dreadringer and Heavy Splatlings seeming to be the highlights of the season, with the Dreadringer potentially having Splat, Suction, Curling or Beacon with a 70-75% to Ink Tank line. In the heavy edit, we know the entire kit thanks to this part of the trailer showing that it is going to have Curling Bomb and Tacticaler. Along with this, we can also see that some gear pieces can't be turned around or adjusted with the new adjust gear button. Not too sure how I feel with Cooler on Splatling, but with the addition of Curling Bomb on its kit for movement, I think it could be a really fun kit to use. As for the other weapons, Sorella seems to have a very expensive sub on the higher ends of 65-75% to ink, so the choices are between Beacon, Splat, Suction, Curling, or Torpedo. Blah 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 Deco having between Burst, Marker, or Sensor with its ink tank here. Tristrain Collapse seems to have Sprinkler, judging by this shot right here. And Gold Dynamo Roller that could have between Splat, Suction, Curling, and Beacon. Now these are just the things that I could find when reviewing and analysing the footage for myself, so if you see any Thing that I didn't mention in my points, then you can let me know in the comments below. Finally, I just want to say how I think the trailer did overall compared to what we wanted for the season, and all I can say is, it's dog show. Okay, maybe not as bad as Animal Feces, but compared to what many players wanted, and the fact that this is the one year anniversary of Splatoon 3, it's kind of underwhelming and a bit disappointing honestly. That being said, it's still really cool having some new stages and weapon kits, but they're just so far and few. Especially with a big event like now, it's really sad we can get more than just a generic season. We'll just need to hope and see what else Nintendo has in store for us. Let me know what you guys think of the new season, and I'll see you all next time.